Hello everyone, my name is Wolfman, and I play games and put them on the internet. So, we are going to continue what I have left off with in Amnesia, which I have not done in a long time, and I apologize for that, because, like I said in my last vlog, that I made an announcement that uh, I'm going to be taking a little break, so now that i found a little time to actually do some of uh, my uh, playthroughs, or walkthrough, or whatever you want to call it. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Sweet, okay. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, now that I've found time to actually do this, um, this video will actually be probably around an hour long for me. Uh, but for you guys, I'm going to, um, to cut it up into either 10 to 15 minute um, videos so I could, so I can, um, you know, kind of spread it out. Uh, kind of like what this one guy did, uh, his name's Yami Mash. He, uh, played with a friend of his, and he, he, uh, did, he did just a full playthrough, basically, uh, like three nights in a row. Man, another note. And, uh, yeah, so, um, let me read this note real quick. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years while my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is recommend my service at the Persian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of Black Evil. May no man break the seal will the house from Grinch. Or Grelish or whatever it's like. But like I was saying, um, it's, um, what the heck was that? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just break it up into, uh, various pieces. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go about that, whether it's going to be like 10 to 15 minute ones or not. But I do know that this will probably, like, be sporadic when I upload this. Because, uh, since I will be taking a break, uh, we just ended the six weeks today. 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. He the crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. Slab stone. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. <laughs> I just... My headphones just fell down. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, uh, I will most likely Oh god, man, 
I was really contemplating on whether or not I should do this. But I am. Okay. I just heard something. Oh god. So it's there's gonna be something that happens here? Yeah, that's a. Sorry, I was really quiet because I was like so anxious. Oreo! Oreo, my best friend. Oh man, I forgot how to play this. Wow, I need more Oreo. Cool. Alright, so, uh. Stupid chair. Light the place up. So, yeah, uh, I've been blabbering on too long about what, what I'm gonna do. But yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut it up so I can have some videos spread out amongst Let's see. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Sorry about that. Got my headphones because I thought it's on knock on the door. Wait a minute. I think I'm hearing things. This game is messing with my mind. Hey, turn on. Turn. Turn on. Turn. Fine. Don't turn on. There you go. Right, so, this uh, the central pressure. Can you pressure? Cool. Okay. Alright, so before I read this, this game was made uh, by. God, I don't even remember. Cutscene, but yeah. Basically, oh, I'm falling on the ground. Basically, that's what happened. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. <gasps> That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Relic. Hmm. Oh, so I said, yeah, that's what happened. Um, basically, what happened was well, that was unbreakable by hand. Yes, I can do it. God dang it, I'm trying to say a story you and have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. Okay, so yeah, um, that was, that was just something that I had to say. Uh, I'm sorry if you might not be able to hear me. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, and yeah, my computer is going haywire. Alright, that's Alstad and Brandenburg Castle 1801, another region which 
with Lorimer's Alstad deep within the East Persian world. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Kostlin Brandenburg. This quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered flakes is as picturesque or whatever. As can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear poof of the widespread superstition. All travel should indulge themselves in such conversations such it since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tables, but there are some motifs that keep repairing. The gatherers. The story reaches all the way back from the thirtieth the, the Thirty Years' War. It was said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid, horrid reverence. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are all they are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlacks. Sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Perich Cornelius Agrippa, the well known er Erdits visit Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for four nights as he looked for rem remnants of kingdoms past during his stay. All the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Harich is known to have passed away in Gronum some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Astalt, which makes you wonder really what really happened. Who was the mysterious man in visiting the sleeping hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Oh my god. I'm not gonna read this one, but if you wanna read this, pause the video. Sorry, but that just got boring. Anyways, let's do this. So we pull the books. As I say it, another story. Uh so basically yeah that's what was oh laggy. That's what was going on. Uh, also, uh, well, punishment again, which is stupid. But I don't have anything to say against that. Because it doesn't really bother me. And... Oh god, I don't want to... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go inside, go inside, go inside! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hello? 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 Oh god, okay. Alright, so I got a key. I hope nothing pops out. If something does, I'm just gonna lie. I'm gonna cry like a little baby that I am, and. Yeah. Wilhelm and his fools have em endangered my research long enough with their absent mind. Her absent minded handling of the human vessel, their sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. He's keeping an eye. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigations from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whether whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed really them some wine. It would sense solve both of my problems. Ooh. That little, little boy. Oh my god, I don't want to go over there. I already know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna stay right here. A nice light. Oh, he's playing piano. Oh my god. He's scaring the crap out of me. I forgot how bad this game was. I like it because of the adrenaline, but oh my god, it's so hard to play because of how scary it is. 